they are the guides and we're not a shaykh and not a guide. And asking that Allah allow us to enter oceans of mercy and rahmah. Alhamdulillah in days of difficulty and days of great deceit that these are a time that we call the days of a great mischief and a great deceit is upon the earth and moving and no nation is going to be safe. Every nation is filled with that deceit and with that deception like a tremendous magic, magic show. And what is happening is relevant, what is happening is related to the world of light. Understanding the world of light, the reality of light opens our heart to move towards that. We're saying today that the greatness of light, the greatness of nur just to understand always by example is that if we blacken the room as much as we can make it to be black, if one candle and one light is lit, that light begins to push away darkness. And if 5,000 more darknesses enter into that room, it cannot extinguish that light in which Allah allowing. Means this is the greatness of light. Light qajal haq wa zahaq al batin. The light always extinguishes darkness. In Allah describes it obliterates darkness. But all we need is light. That's why a true knowledgeable one is as if 1,000 men. So imagine then the heart of an arifin, of a lover of Sayyidina Muhammad that heart like a thousand men. If there is a dark time entering this earth and darkness wishing to spread upon this earth, then they most definitely don't appreciate anyone becoming arifin. Because they know that as much as they want the room to be dark so that they can do their magic. They want this earth like a room because we talk by example, so why do you talk too big? If they want the room to be dark so that they can begin a magic show because in darkness all sorts of deceit can be happening. But if all of a sudden somebody comes in with a spotlight, what happens? You immediately begin to uncover all the deceit. So then darkness by its nature doesn't like the light wants nothing to do with the light and it also realizes that it cannot put out light. But what it can try to do is to kill. It kills and destroys the light. It extinguishes the heart and the light that entering within the heart through darkness. It tries to take the lives of people to take away light and increase darkness and increase darkness and increase darkness means then this is a tremendous reality that Allah is addressing. From insana kamil and the perfected being that Allah says, everything perishes by my holy face. And we know that Allah doesn't have a face but that must be a deep reality. Everything in creation from all of its paradises, everything will vanish, will cease to exist except the holy face. And every reality is based on La illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah If you don't know La illallah and we can never know the reality of La illallah, that reality must be reflecting in Muhammadun Rasulullah That's why all the calligraphy you see who wa who. When they begin to mirror calligraphies, Allah showing, if you want to know La illallah, enter the ocean of Muhammad Rasulullah It is the reflection. Every reality Allah will reflect to Muhammadun Rasulullah So these realities that we want addressing the light of Prophet When we want to know the holy face, the holy face of Sayyidina Muhammad is the dress of that reality. All the Prophets are in that dress. So there must be a tremendous reality. Just the understanding of what's happening with the eyes because eyes are the window of the soul. The ears 
are the door for the soul. Means that the window of the soul, the reality of the soul must be in the secret of the eyes. The right eye is Sifat al-Rahman and when you say Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, the right eye is from the reality of our Rahman, the left eye from the reality of our Raheem. Means in dunya Sifat al-Rahman and we said in other teachings from Mawlana Shaykh's teachings, Mawlana Shaykh Isham's teachings that that Ha is the ocean of hayat, the meem has to do with the reality of Bahr al-Muhit, the all-encompassing ocean of Sayyidina Muhammad as a result it gives a noon and gives a nur. So means that right eye that Allah dressing the believers, dressing the reality in what He wants for all creation. He wants his, his attribute to be dressed upon your right eye, upon our right eye. He wants to dress it from Nur al-Rahman. So that with the right eye you look with a Nur. That Nur extinguishes darkness, that Nur enlightens because it's able to see the reality of everything that it looks at. And the left eye is the Bahr al-Hayat, the oceans of al-Hayat. Because Sifat al-Rahim means Rahaimim. What Allah give us nur in dunya, what is the result in akhirah? If Allah dresses us with nur in dunya, means what did we, what were we granted in akhirah is oceans of hayat, ever, turn, ever living, ever eternal. If Allah gives you nur, means He's now granting you from the oceans of the hay of al-hayat that your soul to reach its eternity, your soul to be dressed from its eternity. That's what the Ahl al-hayat al-hay means these are the pe people of zikrullah, the people of al-hay, hay and it describes in the Sifat, hay Muhammad, hay Muhammad means the love of Sayyidina Muhammad is carrying the ocean of al-hayat. The love of Sayyidina Muhammad is carrying the nur. Because every reality, its highest is understanding of the Muhammadan reality. You can never know La ilaha illallah. But the reflection of these two rivers, where Nabi Musa wanted, I want where the two rivers meet, not only from Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem and out, Ya Rabbi, I want from your realities where the two rivers meet, from the river of La Alam al Qudra, the pen of power. Mawlana Shaykh says many times. That the pen of power was writing La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah before it was writing Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. That's where Nabi Musa wanted from realities. That reality has to do with the left eye. So the left eye is under Sifat al Rahim and the oceans of Al Hayat, and then they would begin to inspire us that the right eye is Imam Hasan. That the family of Prophet are the ones carrying first the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad That it's coming as an inheritance from Prophet to the family of Sayyidina Muhammad That he's granting him bi sifat ar-Rahman, Ya Rabbi bi haqq rahman bi haqq Imam al-Hassan al-Mushtaba bi haqq rahman from the reality of sifat ar-Rahman and by the name of Imam al-Hassan al-Mushtaba Grant me from that light, grant me from that sifat. That sifat is dressing the light. That's why Allah describes in Qur'an, fi dunya hasanat wa akhirah hasanat, fi dunya hasanat wa akhirah hasanat wa kina dhaban nar. Means whom I've given hasanat in dunya and I give hasanat in akhirah, it will save them from punishment. Because Hasan and Hussein is the same. Hussein means little Hasan. So it has also a secret within that reality. Means then the, the, the grandchildren of Prophet are holding that reality. That's why in the salawat we say, Inna bi qurat al ain, jat al hasani wal husayn. Because they're singing that reality. And they know that these are the owners of paradise, they are owners Sahib al Qur'an. Means everything of Holy Qur'an in Surah Fatiha, all of Fatiha in Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. All of that Allah is dressing in 
Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem Ar Rahman Ar Raheem Dressing from that reality means that by loving Ahlul Bayt, by understanding their reality, they are the oceans of Al Hayat and they carry the scene and the secret of Sayyidina Muhammad that is their inheritance. Ya Hasan bi haqqal Rahman, Ya Rabbi, by the reality of Imam Hasan grant me from Sifatul Rahman. They are carrying that reality, they begin to dress us from their nur. And that's why Allah described that be with, have good hasanat in dunya and hasanat in akhirah and save us from difficulty. The hasanat that they're describing is not just any good deed but accompany them, love them, be with them, eat with them, pray with them, have a respect for them. That's why the celebration of Mawlid and Nabi Respecting all Ahlul Bayt, respecting all Ashab and Nabi living a life of trying to be of service to Prophet and the Ahlul Bayt and Nabi Ashab and Nabi only Allah, all of this is to be dressed from hasanat of dunya. That Allah, Allah describe and say that if you're eating with them in dunya, praying with them in dunya, traveling and accompanying them in dunya, what type of hasanat I have? What type of hasanat I have in store for you in akhirah? If this is your dunya, imagine where you're eating in akhirah because everything is a reflection. But if I'm accompanying crazy people in dunya and say, no my akhirah will be good, how is that possible? <laughs> so means that everything is a reflection. If we are eating in the circles of zikr and we're praying in the circles of zikr and we're being visited by the big family of Sayyidina Muhammad and when we visit, we visit the family of Sayyidina Muhammad and we learn and read and been taught by the big family members of Sayyidina Muhammad what Allah then describing, what will be your paradise? Means you'll be with that reality in paradise. So they're carrying Sifat al-Rahman and that nur. If we live by that nur and live by that reality, the Ahlul Bayt begin to teach us that you want attainak al kawthar fa salli rabbika wa anhar. Salli rabbika means pray unto your Lord and live a life of sacrifice. Sacrifice yourself, sacrifice your property, sacrifice your character. Not sacrifice other people that shaitan is doing. He's doing everything the opposite of that reality, sacrificing every other person but himself. And what the Ahlul Bayt taught us, no you sacrifice yourself. You put yourself first on the block, you first judge yourself. You look at all your bad characteristics and say, it all has to go. Nobody else has to go, nobody else is bad, I am the bad one. I have to sacrifice all my character, I have to sacrifice all my property, I have to sacrifice everything for me. فَصَلِّ رَبِّكَ وَانْهَرْ Sayyid al-Shuhada Sifat al-Raheem Sayyid al-Shuhada Why then these, this, the attribute dresses their character of who they are? So then the hasanat and the beauty was Imam Hasan salam. Sifat al-Rahman and the majestic beautific oceans that dress the eye. Sifat al-Raheem is your paradise reality. Paradise is not an easy entrance where many, many books that Allah described, my paradise is not easy to enter. You must sacrifice, you must struggle in the way of Allah You make a discipline upon yourself to enter into those realities. The life of Imam Hussain is then the symbol of that reality. Sacrificed himself and 72 family members. 72 is a tremendous key, a tremendous reality. Because of that reality Allah dressing Sifat al-Rahim, these are ancient names. This is not Allah doesn't pick and choose as He goes. He knows that that ancient Sifat, that ancient name will dress a very ancient reality known as Hussain. He will be from the oceans of Hayat as the grandchildren of Prophet he will carry the scene and the secret of Sayyidina Muhammad Nur al-Anwar wa Sirat al-Asrar. They are all the carriers of the light and the reality of that secret. But he carries the Ya of Yaqeen, Yaqeen. That what we're asking for is a Yaqeen and certainty. With that Yaqeen, with that certainty, 
every reality opens. Means then the hasanat of good character opens the nur. When Allah begin to dress you with the nur, He wants to dress us from the realities of our hayat. The people of hayat, I mean the ahli dhikr, whose dhikr is hay, hay, hay. And their whole reality is that they're swimming in that ocean of hayat. Their reality is based on that sacrifice. Imam Sayyid the shuhada begins to come to them that you sacrifice all your character, sacrifice all these things so that you become big mujahid, one who struggles in Allah's way. Not hurting people but coming against yourself so that you can begin to witness these realities. With that nur is a nur of yaqeen, it's a different light. That nur of Rahman is a nur, this nur of Rahim is from the yaqeen and the certainty. Means the shuhada is a different level, means the salihin, shuhada, siddiqeen wa nabiyeen. These are the oceans of reality that Imam Hussain wants to dress us and make the left eye to be from Bahr al-Hayat. That if I open your two eyes from your right eye will begin to emanate Rahman, from your left eye will become the oceans of al-Hayat, you will become a balanced creation in this dunya. That's why the face of awliyaullah is so powerful. They are dressed with seven holy attributes that are from divine essences. This light, this reality Imam Hussain teaching, if I begin to open that yaqeen then the reality of that scene begins to open. The scene has the three, ilmu yaqeen because he's granting yaqeen, well what kind of yaqeen you want? I'm going to make the knowledge that you know because these are paradise realities, it's not only Sifat rahman for dunya. But Sifat al-Rahim means your paradise reality begin to dress you so that you will have a yaqeen and a certainty, an ilmu yaqeen, ayn al-yaqeen, haqq yaqeen. These three yaqeens begin to dress the soul and dress the reality and begin to perfect the nur and the hayat. That's why in the salawats and in the praising, Nabi Qurat al-Ayni Jatta al-Hasanin wal Husayni. Because these are the eyes of Prophet Every reality is a reality of Sayyidina Muhammad On the marifah of Prophet moving towards the marifah of Prophet that the reality of Prophet is dressed from Allah You will never know Allah But what you will know is the dress of Prophet Begins to teach you that my right eye is the reality of Imam Hassan And dressed from Sifat al-Rahman, my left eye is Imam Hussain salam and dressed from Sifat al-Rahim through which I look at Rahman and Rahim, I look through that reality and I dress everything from that reality and every reality is in the hands of that reality of these Ahl al-Bayt and Nabi Wasallam. That is the reality. What in dunya now? Ya yeah, shaitan, the Antichrist comes. You've seen their signs everywhere? Why are he making his sign like that? Because he's teaching, I don't have anything from Rahman because I'm not working for Rahman, I'm working for shaitan. And we don't have light, Allah made us devoid of light. Because we don't follow Allah, we have no light. We are those who bring darkness, so either we're going to obliterate you to take away your light or we're going to send darkness into your heart to take away your light. So everything from their signs is to take away your Rahman, take away your Rahman, take away Nur, take away Nur. Oh, yeah, who oh, scared me. <laughs> take away your Nur, take away your Nur until what happens? No, no Nur. And then if no light, no hayat, no ocean of reality. So then what they have is they have just the hayat of dunya. Hayat is, is the oceans of ever living. If you have light of heaven then you come to the zikr, they begin to give you the ever living of eternity of the soul. Make your soul ever living. 
let your soul to swim in the oceans of eternity so that it will be eternal. What does the anti, anti one come? The, the, the person of deceit comes and says, no there is no light and you live for today and enjoy everything because there's no tomorrow, he has no access to it. So just hayat of dunya. So everything is about live life today to the fullest, this is their term, live to the fullest. Fullest of what? To fill your belly with dunya, why? Why he wants to fill you with dunya? So that your heart becomes darker and darker and darker until you disattach from Rahman and then he's covered your eye. The one of deceit is coming with a smashed right eye bulging as a sign from Allah that he's not inheriting from this reality, he's not inheriting from Rahman and he has no nur whatsoever. His whole purpose is to take nur from dunya by music, by TV, by internet, by every means possible take away nur, take away all of these blessings. Everything from Allah is to bestow nur upon us. That he, Allah asks from us, do good deeds and I'm going to shower you with mercy. Shaitan comes, no, no, do bad things so that I can throw the burdens of people upon you and you'll be crushed with burdens and sins until you have absolutely no nur. And what Prophet describes somebody who backbiting and doing bad things is he's bankrupt. Why? Because absolutely no light in their account. If there's no light in the account means the right eye is beginning to shut. They see the world no longer balanced and their judgment is not balanced judgment because no nur, they're not able to see with nur. The choices they're making are making everything to be darkened and darkened and darkened until no more light and they begin to choose only hayat of dunya. Let me go to the casino, let me go out and play, let me do all these things that make Allah to be angry so that I move farther and farther and farther away from the light and that is the role of shaitan. Means from the highest reality of Rahman and the dress upon Prophet the reality of Ahlul Bayt, the love of Imam Hassan Imam Hussain for dunya hasanat wa akhira hasanat wa qina adhab al nar to keep that reality is the highest. And to know what's happening in this dunya now is that it wants only to extinguish this reality. That's why the right eye, it doesn't want Sifat al Rahman nor is he working for Rahman and everything you see on TV and on internet, any religious practice that is based off of darkness, based on horrific acts, based on deceit and deception, there's no nur in it. You cannot put people in a trench and kill them, there's no nur in that action. You cannot even sacrifice a goat with the goat seeing it. More or less other goats watching what you're doing is impossible, there's no nur in that action. So it means that every action that happening when you look at that action you say, there's no light in that action. Who's doing that then? The Antichrist. And you can't say Antichrist because it's not only for Christian. His biggest followers will be the whole world. <laughs> His dajjal, the man of deceit. His deception will be upon everyone on earth, every race, every religion, every creed. And all we do is look with tafakkur and contemplation, people of zikr, people of contemplation, people of good deeds, they look with Nurul Rahman through their right eye. They look through the ocean of hayat with their left eye and they can see a balance and say, this action is not based on nur. What they're doing has no light. If it has no light, its purpose then is exactly opposite, there is no gray, there is no middle ground. When we listen to something we are choosing, are you choosing something that bringing light upon you or are you choosing something that taking your light? You cannot play and keep your life always on the middle, I do all these things because they tell us, keep a hisab and a balance of yourself. What you are doing, is it bringing light into your eye or it's pulling light from your eyes? Most likely you'll have headaches. So many shaykhs have tremendous amount of headache because the light coming out is pulling all the sins of people coming back. 
Because every positive qajjal haq, zahaq al batin means the positive energy that comes out gets hit by every negativity and comes back to them and causes tremendous difficulty and sickness. But for our life and for our hisab they teach us that what I'm doing is that going to increase my light or is it satanic influence and deception to take away my light. If he takes away enough light I feel myself no longer guided and I begin to make choices that don't bring hayat and bring only the desire of the material world and no longer the desire from my soul. We pray that Allah protect us. Allah guide us and grant us light within our eyes from Sifat al-Rahman. Ya Rabbi bahaq al-Imam al-Hasan al-Mustafa wa bahaq al-Sifat al-Rahman. Ya Rabbi bahaq al-Imam al-Hussain Sifat al-Rahim wa hurmat Muhammad al-Mustafa bi siri Surat al-Fatih.